Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper reminds admission. He's the one we want. Just follow this thing. It will lead us straight to him. You know, I really hope never to see this place again. Many reasons we went back for those blades. should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is overwhelmed. Locked. Now what? <laughs> When we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It's dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose.
That climb there could lead us out if we could reach it. Killing the bridgekeeper help the dead leave Midgard. I don't expect it will. Though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty.
I have the heart. I need nothing more. You're set. Time not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Psst! Yeah! Shh! He ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on! Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Now target that wind trap with your blades. It's that little ball hanging in the middle of the door there. See it? Just let her loose. Now target that wind trap with your blades. See there? See that? Hell, you can absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome, and I believe it. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeons. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long.
Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then. Get home to your boy already. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. And respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Can you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke some. We use that. I know you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. Well, 
You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Eh, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. break the fever, but to heal. He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... Forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You fixed. Sorry. Guess we're going. Now then. 
Before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Time of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. 
So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Jair's vault, do we? I mean, we're gods. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. 
Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this black room? Don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Didn't think it would be that easy. No. It's kind of open though. So what now? <laughs> Drop it the winds of hell. The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Hellheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. Well, that's unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. Too small for father. Go. No, I will be fine.
would you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's my great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Not as simple as that. in that vault that set you off. It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah! hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. I thought those saws were scary. Look! It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyrna live? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover the massive wall in his vault with them, though. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. I 
I don't see another trap for the, uh... Winds of Hell? Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look. For someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. is faster than wind. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't about speed at all. Is there someplace else the winds can go? Left. Moon on the left, sun on the right. 
Midgard. Mill quickly. Pull the right. Get it. Well, I can't drown. Guess that's something. Chain. How? I, I do not know. Wait, I know what to do. A knife? There's no other way. It's not worth it. That should have worked. Saved you. That was cunning, boy. The road's free. I think we did it. Aye. Let's go see what Tears got for us. this by the discipline the self-control of the one who wields it that is where the true strength of a warrior lies you must never forget that good then for us gods. I have beaten bigger. Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sandball back up? 
Yurth. We're so close to the end. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back.